welcome to a new video so it's been a while since i've put up a video i think maybe over a month um life is just busy i do have a full-time job um on top of youtube so <laughs> um yeah i also had different plans for videos coming up um but that didn't really work out i wanted to do a shelf tour instead of like a binder collection but k -Town for you is taking a really really long time to send out my 17 albums and then they announced a reprint of the you make my dawn you make my day and of course i have to wait for those as well um so yeah that video is just that'll happen eventually maybe at the end of the year if k -Town for you decides they want to send me my 17 albums um so yeah i'm just thinking of ordering um my albums off of like some american k-pop site because it's just this is just taking too long or maybe just going into the city and buying them um so yeah um anyway i was just gonna do a k-pop collection a midway check-in with all of you and i have some things to announce and go over so yeah um we do have changbin here um and guess in the comments <laughs> how many binders you think i have now um i would like to know i don't even know i haven't counted like i'm gonna count like we will announce that at the end of this video but um i don't collect like as many groups as like other people do but like i have a lot of binders <laughs> um so yeah we'll get started on um changbin and then um i'll proceed from there so we have changbin of stray kids if i didn't say that um already um changbin i love changbin i'm a huge fan of stray kids so i'll preface this first stray kids um i only collect from okay go live go easy i don't know <laughs> the god's menu <laughs> um album i think this is the god's menu album because right it's god's menu and then thunderous correct or am i wrong i don't know or backdoor i can't remember <laughs> um but yes so we have changbin i do have um a complete changbin collection for my uh standards <laughs> um so yeah so we have his cards um here oh this is thunderous is this back to you know what i'm not even gonna try to why don't y'all let me know because <laughs> or i could just look at a template but yes we have christmas evil which i have this card um ready to store after this video i'll probably um film a storing video but yeah then we have um ordinary accident and then five stars see i know like the most recent albums but like backdoor thunderous god's menu i get confused between <laughs> um and then we have some um no this is still five star this is a page for all of my five star pops um and then we have just extra cards we have like target this is gives replay this is target also so yeah i have a very small chongbin collection Stray Kids is one of my top um, groups, but I just don't go in for like Changbin like my other groups. Um, so yeah, we'll move on to the next binder. So, oh, just to say, I do have my supplies linked in the description um, if you have any questions about that. Um, yeah, so these, I have a lot of Luca Lab binders. They are my favorite A5 binders. Um, and I also use Beyond D. So yeah, so we have... Um, Liz and Eugen, and this is the collection that I wanted to talk about. Um, I will be dropping Liz. <laughs> I'm sorry if you watch my um, videos for my IVE collection, although I don't have a big IVE collection. Um, I just think with the recent Instagram change of like the hashtags and stuff, it's been very difficult to trade and it has been very exhausting to me um, trying to find trades and everything and of the, i i absolutely love i've like 
every time they have a comeback it's like one of my top songs um and everything but i just needed to scale back um i think the new hashtag thing has been really stressing me out and i just need to cut back um and then eugen um eugen kepler is only a temporary group so i will be f continuing that until kepler ends um yeah and then that is it um so yes i do love ive so much i love liz but also like ive is a group i do love their music but i don't really watch their like other content like pentagon stray kids ats 17 um twice like idol like i watch all of their content when they do like promotions and stuff like they'll do random videos and like vogue and they'll go on like variety shows and everything i always watch for them but i've i don't really do that um although i do love them but yeah so that's just my thought process so that's why i decided to choose i've to drop over other groups um so yeah but i do love liz um and of course if i've ever goes on tour i'm gonna be there <laughs> um love dive was like my top song last year um so yeah Here's my Ive collection. It's a very small collection and I wanted to just nip it in the butt while it was still so small. Um, so yeah, there's Liz. Um, so the next video is a storing video and that'll be the last time I will put Liz cards away. Um, so yeah, that is it for Ive. Um, and then we have Kepler, which I collect Eugen. So for Eugen, um, I do collect um, select pre-order benefits. I try to collect as much as I can for Eugen. Um, so just to preface this, I used to be a very big CLC fan and then they left Cube, they disbanded, whatever. Um, but Eugen was in Kepler um, and I watched Girls Planet and followed her through her whole journey. So that's why I wanted to collect her and I will follow through with this collection until the end. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we have the first album first impact um these are pre-order benefits and then these are also pre-order benefits and then we have duplass so these are the album cards pre-order benefits um i can't remember troubleshooter so album cards and that's a pre-order benefit and then the same thing on this page and then more pre-order benefits <laughs> Then we have Love Strike, which I did finish. I have this card that we put away in the next video. And then we have more cards, pre-order benefits and everything. Page of pre-order benefits. And then these are just random um, Eugen cards that I have. Um, I just like to collect some random things from her. And then, yeah, so that is, um, Liz and Eugen, and we will move on to my next mini binder. So this is my mini collection. It's one of my favorite collections. Um, mini is my girl, probably one of my top, if not the top female bias for me. So I do um, have started collecting more for mini. Um, so yeah, here is, um, I burned, so I only collected three cards, but I plan on going back and collecting the other three cards um, for that. So here's that. Then we have I Never Die. Then we have um, I Feel. No, I Love. I Feel is the most recent. So let's see, I have like more pre-order benefits um, for her. And then we have, I feel so, this is the cat version, the butterfly version. So I did like a full page. Um, and then the queen version. And then here I have, these are all pre-order benefits from I feel that are coming um, from group orders and stuff. So that's for um, I feel. And then we just have some random cards. These are like the lucky cards, season's greetings. This is from their concert last year, I think. Online concert? No, it was the actual concert. And then this is season's greetings, which is one of my favorite. 
<laughs> oh my god, sorry. Um, season's greetings. So yeah. That's mini. Not a huge collection yet, but definitely will be one. This is my Vernon collection. Um, so I do Ult the 17 and Vernon. Um, I love Vernon so much. So for Vernon, I collect from, well, in here I have a, so I have a complete Vernon collection as of right now. It's from an old Ford, but because of the new reprint of You Make My Dawn, You Make My Day, I will be collecting that album and I do have some cards, um, already. So yeah. <laughs> I love Vernon so much. I love Seventeen. I'm just obsessed with them. So, like I said, this is a complete collection. So we have an ode. I don't, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna be like, ah, the versions, but they're on the back. So let's begin. This is Poet, I know. Hope. I don't remember. <laughs> Truth. And then there's this version, which is the real and then we have Hangare. so this is Hana, Hana dual set net um and then we have it on this page this was the last card that I needed to complete it and I was able to trade for that Vernon then we have semicolon um there was only two album cards and then these are like fan sign cards we have your choice um ataka so these are fan sign cards the ones in the corners typically yeah they are this is the carrot version of ataka and then we have um face the sun i'm not even going to try to figure out the um versions it says the versions on the back of the card this is ray i know and then this is path i don't remember this one and then we have the carrot version for Ataka. No, Ataka, not sorry, Face the Sun. I love the paint cards. Those are like my favorite. I just love 17. Um, this is Sector 17. Um, and then this is FML. So I'm still missing cards, um, but these are just fan sign cards. I have all the album cards. And then this is the care version, which is so freaking cute. This like wedding concept was so freaking cute with the flowers and everything. And then these are my weavers versions. And then we have just like assorted fan sign cards. Um, I like to, you know, get as many as I can. I love this one. This is your choice. It's like, I think it's Yuji you that one that they always do. <laughs> but yeah, look how it's just so colorful and everything. Um, then we have, this is Sector 17. Oh, this one was cute too, with the pin, the machine. Um, and then this is Target FMO. Then we have just assorted like photo book cards, Japanese cards. Seasons greetings in the soup membership. These are the DVDs for Be the Sun. Um, so yeah, um, she's thick. <laughs> so I've I have a new binder for Vernon where all of his like I'll probably I don't know like all of this will go in maybe I don't know I haven't decided what's going in there but it's a gray binder because <laughs> I think that's fits vernon's like aesthetic <laughs> um but yeah so that's vernon um for that and i can't wait i need 17 to announce a tour um that would be the third time i'm seeing them so yeah now we'll move on to the next binders so we're gonna look at my 80s collection now which is by far my largest collect well I think it rivals twice but just for the fact that twice has 10 million cards um i guess it's my largest like non-album like type of collection um as in i collect a lot for you know you know is like my top top bias um and all of k-pop so i collect a lot i don't necessarily collect everything um but 
you know if i see things and i think it's cute and it's for a good price i like i buy it and then as far as like fancy cards i kind of just collect everything um so yeah we have you know this is his non fan sign binder so this is kind of just like merch and everything so we'll go over that um love you know been standing them since 2019 <laughs> so it's been a while that i've been with them um i stand in them on like their say their first anniversary so yeah we have um many many cards for him <laughs> Um, I don't know the name of everything, um, but yeah, we can just flip through. Um, I know this is like the light stick case. This is like that pocket thingy. This is like the anniversary. This is for a concert. This is for another, like this is an online concert. This is a membership. His birthday merch. These are for like the summer photo book. Um, this is Mernell. Mernell. 18 his own season's greetings the most recent season's greetings like their platform versions this is like a pre order benefit this is paradigm um i don't collect a lot of like i don't collect the whole japanese i just like to collect like him in different outfits um we have a wonder wall pc on the way this is like the winter merch this is limitless i have another limitless pc coming which it's been a month since it's been sent out so i don't know what happened to it but hopefully it comes um his other birthday merch i have his tease mom pc um and this is like his soul encore photo card set i have pots coming this is a teeny room for their ever anniversary and then I just put like the most recent album had like units and I just put it in here because I didn't know where else to put it. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's Yuno's um, like merch binder. Then we have Yuno's fan sign binder and she is thick. Um, she's probably only gonna fit like the most recent comeback and then be done. <laughs> um, I wouldn't go past that. But um, yeah, she's she's real thick. Um, but it, this is probably like my most prized possession, and it's also probably very very expensive <laughs> if you add up how much these cards cost. Um, so yeah. Um, just want to preface this: you do not have to have this many cards to show that you love a group or a member. Collect what you want. Um, I just have this much um i would say budget and live within your means when it comes to k-pop because it's easy to be sucked in um and try to collect everything and you don't need to you can go slow because a lot of these cars like these cars these mmts i waited how many years for them these were from 2020 and i just got them this year and for a good price so have patience um and be responsible with your money <laughs> so yeah so we have fever part one this is like the start of fan sign pre-order benefits and all of that so these are um mmt this is k-town um this is more fever part one i don't know where all of these are from just saying um this is fever part two these are probably make star because they were hollow make star is known for that um this is fever part three so we have a lot of cards for that and this is when he went blonde and this is still fever part three this is epilogue because you can tell they were like doing epilogue <laughs> during this that's why his hair was different um so we got a lot of epilogue cards I just like to fill like four pocket pages. Um, more epilogue. These, oh, these are the travel package when they went on tour um, last year. They went on tour twice last year. So I saw them, well, I saw them three times last year because um, 
they came in January, saw them, and then they came in November and they had two days. And of course I went to both days because it's ATs. <laughs> okay, so then we move on to a new era, which is, so they go Treasure Fever World. So here's World, episode one, movement. So I have a lot um, for that era. Many, many pages. <laughs> So, well, this is when I started like collecting almost everything. Um, one of my favorite cards. <laughs> I think this is the travel package. Yeah. And then this is, oh, I forgot about spinoff. This is like the random comeback, like single comeback in the middle. So we got this i collected almost everything for this era we have the lucky draws this is one of my favorites this is like the target hug version and then these were like kind of like europe's version of the travel package <laughs> um but i only got two of them i didn't get the other one because it's like the same um and then we have the most recent um album outlaw so i only have a few cards i have a ton more cards that i'm gonna put away in the next video but as you i'm not gonna flip through these but as you can see there's still a lot um missing um i'll be getting those soon so yeah that is my you know fan sign binder and i do have another binder ready for the next era <laughs> and they have changed their hair so i'm guessing they film their comeback so that should be happening very very soon um okay so let's move on to the next um binder for you know so here is my big yunho um binder with all of my um i apologize if these clips are crooked because i'm not really i'm trying to pay attention um so yes this is where all his album cards go so we have the treasure series with the sh these are concept cards but they were the album cards i wish they were selfies but i just collected them anyway and i put the group cards to make it fill the page and then here's the other page for um the treasure series when they finally started doing selfies and then we have fever part one and i put his card there because what else am i gonna do <laughs> i thought about putting the mmts here but that would just throw me off so i just left them out and then we have fever part two part three and then epilogue Um, the world part one, we have movement, spinoff, and then this is part two, which I've um, completed. This is Outlaw. So I've completed this. Um, and then this is like the platform, which I have everything. So yeah, that's ATs. Not much to say about ATs. <laughs> so now we have a collection that has not been seen in a very, very long time. But it's a collection that is still very much loved. Um, that was my Pentagon binder. So this is my mini binder for Pentagon. She is um, collecting dust over here, but yeah. <laughs> Pentagon has not had a comeback in a very long time so it's been like over a year they are working which is nice to see and eight of the nine members are active in Korea Yanan come home um, <laughs> but yeah so we have this is like my miscellaneous binder so I have like random cards merge cards um this was, oh, this is like one of my favorites. I forgot it was called. Charms. They have photo book cards. C 
season's greetings. This is, they did a fan meeting. So this is the merch for that. These are fan sign cards. More fans. Why didn't I, why do I have that empty? I should just put them together. Yeah, more fan sign cards. Oh, and then this is Kino. Um, Kino had his like solo debut, so I collected all his album cards. Um, and then these are just like fan sign cards for that. So, tiny binder. Um, Pentagon's contract is up this year, so I don't know what they plan on doing. Um, but yeah, we'll look at my bigger binder for Pentagon. Here is my album, um, Pentagon binder. <laughs> it's crazy because I like don't really open this anymore. So, and there's like not a lot in here. Um, but yeah, here's Pentagon. Um, this, so I collect Shinwon and Wusuk. I collect pretty much everything. Um, as far as photo cards go, although I hate the way Cube used to do their photo cards. <laughs> but yeah, so Shinwon is older, and so here's Shinwon's cards. So this is just like everything um, for the first like couple albums. Then we have Wusuk. Then we have Universe the Black Hole. We have With, which has um, some like fan sign cards and then we have Wusuk's then we have Lover Take which has also some fan sign cards this is just really satisfying <laughs> I love it um and then we have Wusuk's and then this is the most recent album which was last January I remember because it came out the day that I went to go see 80s. <laughs> so I'm sitting there like streaming, like while we're waiting for 80s to come, I'm like streaming, feeling like the music video. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, I forget which are the album cards. How many album cards were there? I think there were only like two. I think it was just these two. And then everything else is the fan sign card. And then here we have Wusuk. So yes, yeah, very small collection now. Um, I don't know if they'll ever come back. I guess I like, it's been so long that I kind of just like gave up on it. <laughs> um, so I'll be very surprised if they actually like have another album come out. But they are, I know they're working. So that's nice. It's very comforting <laughs> um, to know that. So yeah. All right, let's move on. Now we have my TWICE collection, so um, Jaehyung is my bias in TWICE, so I have a couple cards for her. These are just like random merch cards, fan sign cards. This is um, Daikon, I have her cards. This is her like um, photo book, yes I am. I'm waiting for the next Yes I Am. <laughs> this is um, Year of Yes. Here are my monograph cards. And I thought they were done with monographs, but then they released monographs for the most recent two albums. So I'll probably get those um, eventually. So I didn't join, usually I join on group order, but I didn't this time. I, I, I think I'll be able to find them. And then we have Nyan Solo, which I collected everything for Jihyo is having a solo and I, I I'll probably collect everything um I think it's eight cards which is like doable <laughs> so I'll probably do that um so yeah that's just all I have for my twice um <laughs> little mini binder it's just like some little extra cards and Jihyo will go in this um so yeah, I thought about not collecting all of Jihyo, but I'm just a completionist and I definitely like want to buy her albums. I want to support her twice as like one of my top girl groups. 
so um yeah i'll probably collect everything <laughs> so we'll move on to like the album cards for twice so here's the first um twice mama album uh binder sorry i'm like making sure i'm in frame so i collect my crooked probably um i collect nyan momo and chaeyoung um <laughs> this collection has grown like a lot um over the years so i collect from what is love for it i don't really like the older cards so i don't collect them um so yeah we have um oh and then also i have some ot9 sets so yeah we have what is love there's not much to say like the cards are pretty just like self-explanatory and then this is my OT9 set um, for What is Love. And then here is the other one. Um, I'm only missing one card for this entire collection. Well, for like my top three collection. Um, and I will show you later like why it's not actually really complete. Um, because at one point that was the only card I was missing. So here's Summer Nights. So I have this card that's going to be stored in my next video. This card is like impossible to find because I, I mean, she's cute. Like she has a roller in her braids. So that's probably her braids, her bangs, but that's an OT9 set. And then this is my other OT9 set. Then we have Yes or Yes. Very Halloween themed. And then the OT9 set that I have, which this has a misprint, if you can't tell. <laughs> and then fancy, uh, the ring pops, the bane of my existence. And they were, I had pulled this and I was missing these two. And these were gifted to me by my amazing god brother for my birthday. So he is the reason why this is complete. <laughs> And then we have more. And then I have an OT9 set here, which I love this OT9 set. It's probably my favorite. I just like that it has all the girls' names like in the corner. <laughs> then we have Feel Special. Such a glamorous comeback. I love this page, very cohesive page. And then I have two OT9 sets. I love this um, set. It's just cohesive. Everyone's doing their finger hearts. And then this one, everybody loves. Because <laughs> um, it has their colors and stuff. So, And it's also very cohesive. Then we have more and more, which only had nine cards per member. So it kind of just fit perfectly. Then we have Eyes Wide Open, which um, was the album that I started, like, that got me to, like, collect toys. I love this album. It's such a masterpiece. But yeah, so we have that. One of my favorites, the Boo card. Why, Nyan? <laughs> I love it. This is my OT9 set. Um, the jean like outfit. <laughs> so yeah, I did see Twice in concert recently and that was awesome. Um, it was also like 90 something degrees and everyone was dropping left and right, but I think it's okay. <laughs> um, also, so like there were people fainting and then um, I thankfully was okay and my brother was okay and my godbrother was okay but then when we were leaving our car broke down so that was fun thank god we were still like right we, we were still in the metlife um <laughs> parking lot and the thing was that like we live 40 minutes away like across the bridge like across the gwb so i called my dad who 
is a car technician um <laughs> but and, like to possibly come get us and then the insurance people were like no the tow truck is like going over the bridge blah blah, blah. so then i was like no dad don't come and then he should have came <laughs> that's all i have to say but it was an interesting experience um so yeah and i will never forget but i was telling my because my godbrother was upset rightfully so it was his car you know um but i told him at least we made it to the concert and watched it instead of breaking down on the way to the concert um so yeah that's my little story <laughs> um okay so let's move on to the next um twice binder so we have twice binder number two um so this is more like the recent comebacks that album is like that binder was like when twice would do like nine ten eleven cards this one twice now does like five or six which is really nice um but i will talk about the changes i made so this is taste of love and i've decided to add ot9 set so in the next video i will be putting those away um but yeah so here is um i decided to do the drink um set which i think is so super cute a lot of people do this which i thought about doing but like i like that there's like on this page it's like one of each version um so yeah that's why i decided to do like different sets so i have the drink one which is a popular one and then i have this flower one which is another cute set and then we have formula of love which i don't think i have yeah i don't have an ot9 set for because they had a perfect amount of cards and then this is between one and two which will have ot9 sets so i actually had like extra cards like left over that i just didn't get rid of which were these two thank god because the stuffed animal set's kind of hard to get um but yeah so i have um i think i have almost i think i'm missing diane and mina i think and then we have this like outdoorsy one which i thought was really really cute and so i had these um saved <laughs> thank god i didn't like sell them <laughs> And then we have ready, ready to be. I was supposed to say ready to love, like 17, <laughs> um, which doesn't have an OT9 set because there was an equal amount of cards. But yeah, so before I collected like the concept cards, which I don't really want to do anymore. Um, so I just was like, oh, let me do some OT9 sets. <laughs> um, so yeah, that is this twice binder so this is what i like to call my miscellaneous binder this was the last binder in this video um and this houses some of my favorite cards because it houses all of my full group collections <laughs> so she is thick um uh oh will she even fit in the frame i don't know let's see um she like just fits um <laughs> so yeah this is um my 17 deluxe version of fml and i kept all the cards i'm sorry it's like more this way um, just because the binder doesn't fit on the desk. <laughs> Oops, are we cut off too? Hopefully not. But so here's the full group. Um, I'm so happy I have this set. And then we have the unit cards. Then we have twice. So this is in debut order, hopefully. <laughs> so we have twice. These are like Chan's pre-order cards that um i didn't have full sets for then we have taste of love because that's when i started like collecting like pre-ordering twice so we have all the sets for that there are so many versions oh no there are so many versions of formula of love formula of love had four 
This binder is thick, but I love her. <laughs> and I put all my group cards in the back for that. Cute. And we have between one and two. And ready to be. Then we have the light stick cards. And now we have Pentagon. So this is the with scratch cards, which I collected OT84. Um, who was missing? Janelle was missing. This is, oh my gosh, one of my favorites. This is a fan meeting um, set. I was able to get the whole thing. I think what happened was Jinno was there for the photo shoot. Hoi was still in the military. And then, no, 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 huh? No, okay. So Hoi was still there for the photo shoot. Jinno was in the military. Hoi went in, Jinno came back and like Jinno did his own photo shoot. So he went to the fan meeting Koi was in the military, I think. But I think that's what happened. And then I have this pages set up for Idol um, because I got the photo card set for their recent tour. Then we have Stray Kids. This is like the, one of the pre-order sets. Why, why is Jongin in the dark? I always ask this. So that's no easy. And then this is Christmas Evil. Then we have ATs. This is one of their photo book um, cards. This is the pre door benefit. And then the photo book um, actual cards, which you had to punch out, which I, which was weird <laughs> to me, but you know, whatever. Then we have um, move. I think this is movement, right? I don't even remember. One of the comebacks. <laughs> oh yeah, it was movement. Um, episode one. Um, this is spin-off. They had the blanket PCs, so I bought those. <laughs> I did OT8. OT yeah, OT8. Then we have um this is the US exclusive for spin-off. Collected those because I thought these were so cute. And then this is the Valentine's um set, Valentees. So I have OT8. And then this is Outlaw. Um, this is the um, uh, set I collected. This is a US exclusive. I've just been collecting the US exclusive because I buy so many albums. And then we have I've, this set. And then we have Kepler. So this is their Daz and Girls in London. And then this is the light stick pages. So yeah, that is my entire photo card collection. Um, I discussed some changes that I made, um, which I'm honestly very happy to be dropping a group. It's just been rough lately, um, financially and um, not really financially, but just like the hashtag thing just really like wasn't working out for me. Like I was just having such a hard time with the collections, so I'm just. It feels like a, like some a load was like lifted off of it. I again, I I love Ive, um, and I love Liz. It just sorry, someone honked their car. Um, it's just if I were to drop anyone, it would be them. So I think I'm at a place now where I'm very happy with who I collect. I've said that before, but now I'm like really really happy now that I've been doing this for so long. Um, I forgot when I started my channel. Was it 2020 or 2021? Um, and it's been very different. It has grown a lot. It has downsized. Yeah. So I think, um, we're good now. Like, I have, like, no interest in, like, picking up anyone else. Um, so yeah, that is it for this video. That is my entire collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, 
I look forward to seeing how this will be at the end of the year. Usually my first video of the year is a collection video, so we'll see how it's grown. Um, since then, probably not a lot um, by then, just because I think all of my groups are coming back in like September or October. So yeah, um, the next video will be a storing video. <laughs> so yeah, and um, I think my goal for like this year is to finish twice. I think that's the goal for the end of the year so that in January I can be like, oh my God, twice is done. Like besides like the comeback, cause I'm sure they'll have a comeback this year. Um, <laughs> so yeah, but all the older stuff I want to be done with. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching my videos. Um, also thank you so much for 1.5K. I haven't been really paying attention to my analytics. <laughs> Um, but I did notice I reached 1.5k. Um, so thank you guys for supporting and watching my videos. Leave your comments down below. And I didn't even count how many binders this is. Should we count now? I hope you left your guesses in the comments. <laughs> okay, so I just counted. We have 13 albums. Um, five of them are A4 and the rest are A5 binders. <laughs> so yeah. Um... I don't know what else to say. Okay, I'm just going to end the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.